let's have a look at the full analysis of last five years past papers of the a level chemistry paper 4 and then let's discuss the examination tips to get the best grades ever in the paper so in this video first we will see the analysis of each of the topics of this paper that is what weightage marks it carried in each of the papers of last five years and then we will discuss also the important topics of each of these chapters and then at the end we will discuss how to have the last moment preparation now here i have presented the analysis of all the chapters from summer 16 papers to winter 20 papers so in short all the papers of last five years are covered here and what marks did the questions of this chapter carried in each paper is also given here for example in summer 16 the questions from the chapter lattice energy carried 22 marks in winter 16 it carried 11 marks so similarly i have given the marks for each and every chapter which carried in each and every year paper now name of some of the chapters i have given it in short for example here this means lattice energy this topic means further aspects of equilibria here it is entropy and gibbs free energy the next chapter is transition elements the next one is benzene and its compounds then i have summarized two to three chapters here in organic compounds because the chapter like carboxylic acids and its derivatives nitrogen compounds polymerization all are always mixed together in organic questions so i have overall taken those three chapters as organic compound chapter and the last chapter is analytical chemistry so here you can pause your video and have a look at the full analysis at the end i have given the total marks that is a particular chapter carried how many marks in all total in the last five years papers now few of the columns are having dash like this this is because in this particular year paper the questions from this chapter wasn't asked but you can see that there are few chapters from which the questions are asked every year so you can always make out that such topics are very very important although here you can see that there is there are only two dash there are only two years paper from which the questions of this chapter wasn't asked but most of the time it is asked so you can consider it as a very important topic once again so you can always pause the video and have a look and consider full analysis of each and every chapter now i can also bring a notice to yours that in the last two years that is 19 papers and 20 papers you can see that the questions from each and every chapter is asked so that shows that in the last two years equal weightage or you can say that the importance was given to each and every chapter so now you can have a look at the total marks of each and every chapter of the last five years so here you can make out that the lattice energy is having a good weightage then here again the transition elements also are is given a good weightage organic compounds questions from the organic compounds are always asked questions from the analytical chemistry is also as though it carried less marks but i feel that this topic is very important why because the questions asked are also very very easy so you can always study some part of this chapter and score good marks in this topic now here you can notice one more thing that the least mark is here which was carried by the entropy and gibbs free energy but what i feel is that you should just not leave this chapter or don't make a mistake of not giving importance to this chapter because this chapter carries only two to three formulas which are very very easy and generally the numericals based on this questions this topic are asked and because of that you can just get cash marks from this chapter that is although it may be just four marks six marks five marks but you can just score full four or six marks of this chapter 
so although it carries very less marks i feel such topics are very important to get good grades the highest mark is carried by the organic compounds but then this is the mixture of three chapters but now here you can see that the transition element carried 180 marks a very high number of marks so let's have a look that what are the important sub topics of this or the other chapters which you should give importance and read the first so here are the topics of each and every chapter you can again pause the video and have a look at it now as i was telling you that entropy and gibbs free energy the questions asked from this chapter only calculations few calculations but very easy to score marks in this now the transition elements very important chapter here i would say that in each and every paper the questions from the isomerism is always asked so you should definitely know how to draw the isomers of the complex of the transition elements also there are few ligand reactions in this chapter that is you can say that ligand substitution reactions are here you can just learn this few ligand substitution reactions and score very good because many a times such ligand substitution reactions are asked so if you have just learned them go and write it in the paper and you get marks now i just forgot to discuss about further aspects of equilibria here there are few simple calculations asked in this chapter like calculating the ph of a weak acid or calculating the ph of a buffer solution or just write two equations of buffer solution which proves that the solution acts as a buffer few calculations of solubility product and partition coefficient here are such easy questions where you can just get cash marks of the calculations because here very less theory questions are asked now the next if you can look here is a benzene and its compounds now the reactions of the benzene and the reactions of substituted benzene you can just learn the mind map of this reaction and if you don't know then have a look at the link in the description down here link in the description down here so that you can get ready ready mind maps of these reactions okay next have a look at the analytical chemistry now you know that in the data booklet there are two tables given for proton nmr and c13 nmr just have a look at this table and answer few questions given in this of the topic and you will be easily able to write them so don't just ignore this topic because it's really very easy now let's have a look at the last moment preparation so that are the must do topics at the last moment for the revision of this paper 4 so at the last moment for the revision you can just have a look at the definitions and learn them next you can just learn the formulas for example the formulas of entropy and gibbs free energy or the formula of the ph and the ph of buffer solutions then you can also learn the formulas of electrode potential and related calculations like nernst equation then learn the fixed answers of this chapter for example there are few questions which have just fixed answer let's have a look at some examples for example trends in the thermal stability of group 2 carbonates and nitrates you can say that these are the questions which are frequently asked in the papers and generally carries 2 to 3 marks so if you just learn 2 to 3 sentences related to such questions you can easily score these marks another example is trend in the solubility of group 2 sulfates hydroxides acidity of carboxylic acids and basicity of amine so you can say that the trend in the acidity of carboxylic acids trend in the basicity of amines also make the mind maps of all the organic reactions and learn them now believe me there are only few organic reactions you need to learn otherwise you just don't have to take too much of pain in the organic topic and there is a link in the description down here but for that link to access to this link you need a telegram 
app if you have the telegram app you will be able to have a free access to the mind maps of the reactions of benzene and the further substituted benzene reactions the reactions of carboxylic acids and the nitrogen compounds amines etc next you can make a list of the reactions of transition elements for example ligand substitution reactions and just learn them you can also practice drawing the isomers of the transition metal complexes because every time the isomers of drawing the isomers of transition metal complexes are asked and you can just have marks on the marks from such topics now at a2 level in paper 4 the only mechanism you need to learn is electrophilic substitution mechanism although at times few mechanism from as level also asked in the organic uh, questions also you may find sub questions from the as level also so if you really want to score very good marks as and a stars at a level then you also need to revise the as level chemistry also but in the mechanism only common mechanism fa2 is benzene that is electrophilic substitution mechanism so there are only two steps to learn and for that also there is a link in the description for which you can go through and learn it so i hope this video will be very useful to you to prepare for the paper 4 and and believe me you will be able to score very good in this paper